Phoenix fans over here. And I'm here with Forsaken for the post-match interviews taking from Forsaken for the interview. My first question for Forsaken is to do what we just watched, this last map of the split in which they change their composition. We're going to see Forsaken with Raze and I want to ask him what he was doing to this change and what was the change because he was having an incredible game. Forsaken, the first thing I want to ask is what we just got the chance to watch for the last map of split. You change the composition and you go from the triple duelist to just two duelists and you on the race. And that was the main show today. In that second half, you were just going off. So tell me how and why you changed the composition and how does it feel to go back to that race? I think I realized that maybe this comes only work for Pacific because in this very hard, everyone just so good. And then I, ju I just realized that I think we need some info, some like initiator, you know? So I decided to like change the race and make uh, Monyet go Omen because yeah. I feel like he's really good at Omen, especially surviving skills. I think he's really good at it. So I'm still can't believe that <laughs> this is my race debut, my first race debut, you know, and I, I can win against the edge. It's like really amazing, you know? So yeah. Mm -hmm. Sí, lo, lo que nos está diciendo es que se daba cuenta de la composición que estaban jugando antes de triple duelista, solo ser bien pacífico. Cambiaban esa composición, se daban cuenta de que él se daba cuenta de que necesitaban un poco más de información y por eso decidió hacer el cambio a él, jugar con la race y poner a Monieta que jugara en ese omen. Decía que él lo consideraba un muy buen omen y que aún así no podía creer eh, lo que era este último mapa. Ahora, también le quiero preguntar lo que ha sido más que nada su flexibilidad a través de lo que ha sido la región de Pacífico y dentro de este torneo. Eh, ¿Cómo se siente? Y si podemos seguir esperando, como siempre, esas sorpresas de PaperX. And we just talked about the race, but you've become one of the best flex players, if not the best player, best flex players that we have right now in this tournament. Uh, can we expect a little bit more surprises coming from you? And uh, what is it like to be that flex player for PaperX? Mm, yeah, I mean, maybe I will play Deadlock or ISO next. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the reason why I, I like become flexible because like I just love how the way I can create like a lot of stuff, strategy, and I just love being creativity. I think that's all. And lo que nos dice es que de pronto, sí, cuando le preguntaba de qué otra composición y si podíamos ver algo más de él, decía de pronto puedo jugar de lo que de pronto puedo jugar eso, no se sabe, pero después nos dice que lo que más le gusta de ser flexible es eh, poder eh, traer un poco más de, de creatividad, de ideas y, y eso es lo que destaca la creatividad más que nada del equipo. Última pregunta que le tengo, ¿contra quién se quiere enfrentar de este torneo? Who do you want to face in this tournament? Ooh, I would say if somehow we met EDG again, okay. you know? The rematch. Think, rematch, yeah. I think it's gonna be different. Dice que si se tiene que enfrentar con alguien, tiene que ser con EDG. Le gustaría poder tener ese rematch. Eso es lo que, todo lo que tenemos de esta entrevista. This is everything that we have for this interview. But if you're wondering how those next matches are gonna look like, we're gonna go right to the draw show. Yeah.